How to create your own avatar in Sandbox. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about how you can create your very own avatar in Sandbox. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into it. So the first things that I want you guys to do is simply come over to sandbox.game. This is their official website. And over here, what I want you guys to do is just simply sign up. Now you can sign up by clicking on the sign in button over here at the top. Just simply click on the sign in button and over here you will have a couple of different options. So you can either sign in with your email address, with your socials such as your Facebook, Twitter or Google or you can sign up with your MetaMask wallet. Now this is the option that I would recommend because since you're going to be playing this game, you're going to be able to buy quite a lot of different things. You're going to need to buy different land, different characters, different vehicles or other accessories. So for that, you're going to need the currency because it runs on Ethereum and sand. So you're going to need a cryptocurrency wallet anyway. So why not just simply sign up with MetaMask? Simply click on MetaMask and it'll open up this page over here. Now for you, it might be a little bit different because it'll take you to the MetaMask website. If you're signing up there for the first time, it'll take you to the website where you'll have to enter in all of your details and then just simply install the Chrome extension into your browser and then this pop-up will come up. Now once this comes up, all you have to do is simply click on next and simply click on connect. Wait a couple of seconds and wait for it to connect. And once it's connected, it'll ask you to sign the message. Just simply click on sign and you will be signed in into the website. Once you're signed in, as you can see, this is how it will look like. You can go ahead and play it but before you play it, you're going to need to create your character. What I want you guys to do is come over here on the left side. And over here, you're going to see a couple of different options. So you have home, you have the alpha version, you have the market, create, map, and about. What I want you guys to do is click on the create button over here. Just simply click on it and it'll take you to the game maker over here. Now over here, you can build basically games for the metaverse. And you can create different applications, create different levels you know create different accessories and stuff like that and if you scroll down below we can create for free basically we can create awesome 3d games for free using thousands of voxel models you can build and share it's just as fun to build your game as it is to play no code is required as well and then if you scroll down below we can see we have the gallery over here where we can see everything and if we scroll down below even further we can see some of the system requirements but what i want you guys to do is just scroll up a little bit and over here at the top you will see vox edit and over here you can edit the voxes you can create your own models and stuff like that but we don't need that we're over here to create avatars simply click on the avatar button over here which is the third option and once you do that you can see you can create your own style you can get socials and you can equip your avatar and play now it's pretty simple you can select an avatar and find your own style so over here if you scroll down below you will see the create your avatar button just simply click on create your avatar and over here you will have a couple of different models now this is their main builder for your avatar so as you can see we have quite a lot of you know avatars and down below we have pages you know we have at least four pages i think yeah so four pages are available to us we can choose whichever we want we, so this one is called rowan this one is lucy we have z boy Haley gans april and stuff like that but we're gonna stick with lucy for this one now this is the pre-designed you know avatars so you can come down below if you come down below you can see you have skin tones and stuff like that you can change the skin tones as well like you can make them you know darker you can even make them white green red yellow blue pink whatever you want so i'm going to keep it at its original color you can even add some custom uh, colors as well and over here at the top left corner of this you know a creator builder you will see you have the hairstyles you will have clothes shirts you will have pants and shoes so if we click on head we can see the different types of hairstyle and different head style so this is the victorino as you can see we changed lucy's head right here and if we have a couple of different other pages as well we have i think six pages in total yes so we have six pages in total we can change up to six so Let's just try to find Lucy's head again that we just, you know, lost apparently. 
um don't see it over here maybe it's in here okay so what we can do now is we're going to replace the head with i think this one lady guga yeah lady guga looks nice looks like a fun person to hang out with and play with okay so the next thing we can do is we can change the shirts right so this is the one that i'm currently wearing i think the summer tees yeah i think this was already the one that i was wearing we can even change the color of the shirts as well like again you see over here like this is the red this is blue pink we have pants as well we can change the pants so a winter pants warm pants summer shorts we have work pants we have skinny pants and many many more i think we have a total of four pages for pants sections let's just call it three because in the fourth one is just only one pair i think this one looks good uh no very skinny no i don't like skinny let's see which one would look good i think this one would look good male delivery pants nah denim shorts sure i think the shorts look good Maybe if we get something else as well. No, I think shorts look good. Then we have shoes over here. We can we have sports shoes. Now, granted, it does look a little bit weird, but as I said before, it looks a little bit more on the Minecraft side, you know. Looks more like Minecraft. So we have work shoes, winter, winter boots, and stuff like that. I'm gonna keep with the work shoes. So I think this is it. And once we have, you know, selected all of the changes. I'm just simply going to choose Lucy again because I like Lucy. And I'm just simply going to choose change the pants because these pants are horrible. Where's the jeans at? I think this is it. No, no. Yeah, here we go. Denim jeans. Yeah. Okay. So now that we have, you know, after we've, you know, done all the changes, all we have to do is just simply click on save changes. Your avatar has been saved. And now once we, you know, log in with our account, with this account into the sandbox, I think that we will have this character. So let me just go ahead and play the game. Maybe we will see it. So Lucy is right over here. So let's go ahead and try to play the game. So if I minimize the browser real quick. Okay. So I, you know, I've installed the game and I'm played it. So let's see how our avatar basically looks like once it's completed. Giving it a few seconds because it's loading up. It's taking quite some time. It has never taken this amount of time before i don't know why that is we lost connection there we'll just go back to the hub and see what it is um but i'm sure that it's exactly like this one the one that we created earlier so we don't have to worry about that because sandbox is a pretty fun game i have played it a little bit before and uh, creating the avatar in the game is really really helpful like as you can see over here all you have to do is come over to the website, click on create, select avatar, and then just simply create your avatar till your heart is content with it. And then just click on save changes and then those changes will be saved onto your account. And then whenever you use that account to, you know, sign in into playing the game, your avatar will be the one that you have, you know, saved from here. So that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on post notifications. And having said that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.